The investigation of the disappearance of missing honeymooner George Smith IV is heating up again. But will the FBI solve the case in a minute? We go inside the investigation with somebody who's been working cases like this for 30 years. But first, we told you that the investigation is focused on three persons of interest. One's a teenager from California. His attorney tells Scarborough Country, his client cooperating with authorities. And we tracked down the two Russian persons of interest and invited them on the show. Their attorney declined, saying, quote, my clients have been fully cooperative with the investigators ever since the beginning. They gave statements to the authorities already, and those statements won't change. They remain cooperative with the FBI in all the investigations. The advice right now is not to go on the air or to make any more statements until the investigation is completed. Of course, we at Scarborough Country, who have broken so much in this case, still invite any of the suspects or principals on. With me now is somebody who has spent 30 years on cases like this one, Miami attorney Charles Lipcon. Charles, thank you so much for being with us. We hear on the, I mean, obviously, you've got a possible murder on this, uh, on this cruise. You've got a couple of other uh, situations, a possible rape that was videotaped. This cruise sounded like it was out of control. Are sex assaults, rapes, violent crimes the exceptions or the rules on these cruise lines? Well, I think they're far more common than most people realize. Uh, in handling these type of cases, I've come across statistics. Uh, with Royal Caribbean, they, uh, one statistic uh, is that uh, out of 173 sexual assaults in about a three and a half year period, uh, the cruise lines had a perfect record. And that perfect record was uh, nobody was prosecuted. So wait, 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 wait a second. You, you, wait, wait a second. You're saying out of 173 possible sexual assaults, that's your number, not ours. But you're saying out of 173, not one person's been prosecuted? Exactly. And normally why? law enforcement... Why? Because the, the, I, have, I have my own, you know, my, my own opinions on that. I believe the cruise lines, you know, this is bad publicity for them. They go out of their way to make sure that prosecutions cannot occur. And then you couple that with the fact that you're dealing with uh, concurrent jurisdictions between, you know, third world countries, flag of convenient states, FBI who gives it a low priority. And what you have is you have open season on the high seas. The crew members oh. know they can... They, the no, I was just going to say, that, that, that really is, that's shocking. Again, you say open season on the high seas. Again, I'm looking at this number that you're telling us. I'm going to invite the cruise line on. They need to come on. And, and, and dispute that fact if they can. So let me ask you this. Based on your 30 years experience uh, investigating cruise lines, what do you think happened to George Smith IV on the night he vanished? I, I handled almost the identical case involving a Royal, Car Royal Caribbean cruise line vessel. Husband and wife are in the casino. Uh, the wife's given a roofie. She appears to everybody to be drunk. The husband takes her back to the room. She's gang raped. They later find her walking the hallways without her, her, her undergarments on, not knowing what had happened. And the, the, the husband was in the casino continuing to gamble. So based on that and, and the other cases I've handled, my, right now, based on what I know, I think the two of them were drugged, so they appeared totally intoxicated. They're taken back to the room. The wife is being taken advantage of. The husband's a big guy. So uh, maybe he came out of, you know, there wasn't enough drugs, he, he came to, or maybe he, he was drinking and it was not enough, you know, to keep him unconscious, and he became a witness, so they just killed him and tossed him over the side. And I, I think that, that fits all of the facts that I'm aware of at this time, and it certainly fits in with what I've seen in all these years that I've been handling these cases. And you say what you saw in actually a case that you said is almost identical to this case, Let's now turn to criminologist Casey Jordan. Casey, obviously we've got a bloody scene. We've got two Russians under investigation, one California teen. How do you crack this case and solve it? It's getting more and more difficult as the days go by. We're over a month past the incident. A lot of that forensic evidence, including that blood stain, uh, has been cleaned up. Uh, we know, of course, the ship is, is occupied. That very uh, cabin is occupied by new passengers at this point. Uh, when you have so little forensic evidence, you really do look to human behavior. So we're looking very carefully at the fact that Jennifer is not talking, which would be supported by the theory that perhaps she was drugged and something terrible happened. And we're 
we're also looking at the behavior of the three suspects and the fact that two of them won't speak at all. Uh, you know, there are no absolutes with human behavior, but that makes uh, the average viewer very concerned about what they might be hiding. Casey, the teenager from California is talking. Is he the key? He may be the key, especially since he's cooperating. Uh, the fact that he's a teenager is a little problematic in that you are not going to be able to question him without his parents or guardian present. Uh, the two Russian men who are, of, uh, who are in your little suspect roster are extremely interesting because their lawyer says their story is not going to change. Well, if they never talk, of course, their story can't change. So there seem to be some statements which might be of interest. And again, if they just stay underground and behind their lawyer, they can't get into any trouble. A remarkable information. Thank you for being with us, Charles and Casey. Jordan, greatly appreciated. Apologize it was so short. Obviously, breaking news. We look forward to having you on tomorrow night as this case continues to unfold on Scarborough Country. Coming up next.